SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has recently revealed in a tweet that the company intends to build a powerful engine called Raptor 2. This would be even more powerful design of the Raptor engine that is currently used in developing the Starship vehicle. Hi, welcome to TechSpace. In this video, we'd see the amazing upgrades to the Raptor engine and how SpaceX plans to pair it to the Starship. Remember to like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content. The Raptor 2 is packed with a huge power boost for the engine that would propel the interplanetary rockets. The stainless steel Starship is powered by liquid oxygen and methane and is designed to be fully reusable. It was first introduced to the public in 2017 and was called the BFR. Contrary to other rockets like SpaceX's Falcon 9, which utilizes rocket propellants as a part for its fuel, the Starship is designed with capabilities required to take astronauts to Mars and refuel making use of the resources found on the planet. So what exactly is so amazing about the upgraded Raptor 2? Well, it is way more powerful and better than the version of Raptor currently in existence. The Raptor 2 had recently been used in the Starship prototype to carry out test flights, like the last one which was done in May 2021, which went up a vertical distance of about 33,000 feet. The Starship has two major components. First component is the Starship itself, measuring a height of 160 feet, including the crew and space for other cargo. The second component includes the Super Heavy Booster, which measures up to 230 feet in height. It is the second component that actually gives the Starship the ability to leave the Earth's surface. When combined, both of these components will stand at 400 feet in height. Both components are powered using the Raptor engine. In September 2019, Elon Musk explained that the booster used on the Starship could possibly hold up to 24 and 37 engines. The ship itself will carry up to six engines. The design of the Raptor engine is such that it operates using what is known as cryogenic propellants. These propellants are fluids that have been cooled down to almost their freezing points. This is way different from the conventional cryogenic rocket engines that make use of cryopropellants heated to their boiling points. Using subcooled propellants makes it possible to store more propellant within the tanks in the vehicle. This is because when subcooled, propellant's density increases, leaving more space in the tank. Dual redundant spark plug lit torch igniters are used to initiate ignition on all Raptor engines, both in air ignition or on the pad. The Raptor engine uses a large number of coaxial swirl injectors to admit propellants to the combustion chamber, rather than pintle injectors used on the previous Merlin rocket engines that SpaceX mass-produced for its Falcon family of launch vehicles. SpaceX is now in the process of testing the Super Heavy Booster, with the first prototype assembled at Boca Chica. SpaceX is planning on carrying out a test flight on the Super Heavy Booster, with the first prototype of the new Raptor engine paired to the Starship. All of the test flights have seen the Starship fly off to altitudes between 32,000 and 42,000 feet. SpaceX had earlier this month announced that there would be constructing a second Raptor engine's production facility in South Texas, close to the already existing test facility for their rocket engines. A news report by Dallas Morning News crew reports that SpaceX will set a new record and that the new facility will major on the continuous manufacturing of Raptor 2 engines. SpaceX has also reported that their California facility will manufacture Raptor vacuum types and other experimental Raptor engine designs. The new production site is expected to be capable of delivering 800 to 1,000 rocket engines annually. The Raptor engine is fired using a subcooled liquid like methane with subcooled oxygen in a full-flow staged combustion chamber. This process is a whole step away from the common open cycle system powered by a gas generator and kerosene fuels commonly found in Merlin engines. A staged combustion cycle was also paid to the famous space shuttle RS-25 as well as most of the rocket engines developed by the Russians, like the RD-180 or the RD-191. Raptor is being used in both stages of the two-stage to orbit Super Heavy Lift Starship System Launch Vehicle, which will supersede Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Starship will be used in various applications, including Earth orbit satellite delivery, deployment of a large portion of SpaceX's own Starlink mega constellation, and the exploration and colonization of Mars. The first time the Raptor engine flew was on the Starhopper test vehicle in July 2019, where it became the first ever full-time flow combustion engine to fly in the world. Before the end of August 2020, the Raptor engine was recorded as the operational rocket that's capable of reaching the greatest combustion chamber pressure possible, at 330 bars or 4800. The Raptor engine is made in two variant forms. The first variant form is called the sea level variant. 
Three of the six engines on the ship will be sea level variants and paired with the super heavy booster rocket. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, in a tweet he made in May 2020, stated that the sea level variant was capable of about 200 tons, but plans are currently underway to increase the thrust power to 250 tons. He also mentioned in the tweet that suggest a vacuum variant optimized for space and fitted with three of the six engines on the ship. These engines will be paired with the vacuum variant of the Raptor engine. Vacuum engines typically have much wider nozzles and are much more complex in their design. The plan SpaceX is currently working on increasing the base Raptor thrust up to 230 tons and possibly 500 million pounds and also raise booster engine count to 32 or 33. All the Raptors paired with the booster, whether fixed Raptors or gimballing, will be of the same type. A boost engine count of 33 paired with a base Raptor thrust of 230 tons gives the Starship up to 7,600 tons of thrust and TW of about 1.5. It should be noted that 230 tons are equivalent to around 500,000 pounds, not 500 million. Musk further confirmed that the booster engines will be the same as the center engines on the Starship. Maybe three more Raptor variants will be added to the ship to give it a maximum ISP. On the company's official site, they have shown plans to pack the Super Heavy booster with thrust up to 16 million pounds. Elon's tweet speculates that this figure could increase to 17 million pounds. Comparing this figure to the specifications of the most powerful rocket to ever fly, the Saturn V, which had its last flight in 1973. That figure measures nowhere near the 7.6 million pounds of thrust the Saturn V generated. The firm has kept the public in the dark when it involves the payload capacity. On the company's website, they claim that it can lift over 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit. But that's below what the rocket is capable of. A user guide released in April 2020 and analyzed by YouTube host Everyday Astronauts explained that the rocket could lift a payload of about 156 metric tons to low Earth orbit. At the time, Musk confirmed that the long-term goal was to raise the mass of the initial SN ships to a little higher and bring down the ISP a little bit. But over time, it will be 150 tons of thrust to lower Earth orbit. As long as Mars missions are concerned, what is more important could be the 1.5 thrust-to-weight ratio, showing how the thrust compares to the overall weight of the vehicle. For horizontal takeoff vehicles, thrust could be the same as or slightly higher than weight of vehicle, and it will still move efficiently. But for a vertical launch vehicle, the thrust must be way higher than its total weight. The higher the thrust-to-weight ratio, the higher the possible acceleration. In order to guarantee a fast and safe return from Mars, the Starship will have to maximize propellants efficiently, which is exactly what the design of the Raptor 2 engine promises. In an interview held in January 2021, Elon Musk explained how a higher thrust-to-weight ratio is essential in the design of a reusable ship like the Starship. This suggests that the Raptor 2 engine might just be the light that shines on SpaceX's future crewed missions to Mars. Amazing, right? Do you think the Raptor upgrade will mean more speed for SpaceX's space venture? Please do well to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, please like, share, subscribe. And while you're still around, why don't you click on one of those amazing videos on the screen for more content.